Hi everybody, my name is Holly and I'm very happy that you're here with me today. This is my dog named Bella and Bella is a five-year-old Old English Sheepdog and it is time for Bella's bath today and I'm going to go ahead and kind of brush her out and then get her into the bathtub. It's a kind of a cooler day today so that's why I chose to give her a bath instead of a shower today. I thought she could just kind of soak in the warm bath water. I use a brush like this normally to brush her coat out, uh, her body, and then I have like this little double tooth comb here, and I use this behind her ears. Sometimes Old English Sheepdogs have a tendency to get very, very matted. They're considered one of the higher groomed dogs, like they need a lot of grooming, these kind of dogs. Um, so you really want to kind of start when they're young puppies and start getting them trained to understand that they're going to be getting groomed and bathed a lot. <laughs> and brushed. Brushing is half the battle because you do want to constantly brush them and get get any mats out of them that you can. And Old English Sheepdogs are herding dogs or working class dogs and their tails are docked and that means they have no tail. So usually when they're puppies if their tail gets cut off basically and it's called docking and that is because many years ago uh, where they originated they in, in England, they did not want to um, pay taxes on the dog. So they made it where they didn't have to pay any taxes if they docked their tail and considered them a working dog, which they are a working dog. They used to herd many sheep and other animals. Bella will herd me if she could. Um, normally, it's instinctual in them, and I don't know if a lot of people have seen them, but if you stand next to an Old English Sheepdog, it's not really like standing next to another dog because the Old English Sheepdogs will kind of stand on its side and they kind of slowly push you and you don't even know you're kind of being pushed over, but they kind of slowly push you and then you realize what they're doing if you start to read about the Old English Sheepdog um, and that's just part of their herding instinct. They like to kind of gather everybody into a group and that's their job. So. Bella doesn't do it as much as some of my other dogs used to, um, but she still does it. You can still feel it. She's always right by your legs, and that's her way of just kind of putting you where she wants to. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started here, and I'm going to, again, start with this little fine tooth comb, and I'm going to work my way behind her ears, which is right here. Let me move the camera a little bit so you can see. I take her ear, and I put it up, and I kind of work behind it going down and just working my way to see if there's any mats here because this is normally where a lot of the mats begin is behind the ear on these dogs. I have been grooming my dogs for years. Every now and then I'll take her in to get groomed and normally they start around $75 and go up from there as grooming goes. Um, just depending on what your area you're in. And usually these dogs take all day to groom, especially if you tell them that you want to have the full coat on. Um, normally Old English sheep dogs have very coarse, wiry hair. Um, Bella seems to have a little bit more gentle of a curl than some of the Old English sheep dogs. I've owned them in the past and uh, some of my other ones I've noticed had much more kinky or curly hair. She seems to have straighter hair, which is actually kind of nice because it does make the job a little easier when you have to groom them. Um, they are definitely a full service type of a dog, so it does take time to own them because you do have to groom them. They are considered high maintenance dogs when it comes to the grooming. Other than that, they're very low maintenance dogs. They're very sweet dogs. They've got great personalities. They get along mostly with all people and mostly all children. Uh, other than maybe little toddlers because you do have to watch them if they're a little rambunctious when they're younger and puppies and they might not know their own size but that goes for any dog training is always important for whatever dog that you own um today anyway i'm going to go ahead and get started
Thanks everybody for stopping by. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Y'all had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun and I hope you had a lot of fun. See you soon. Bye.